Virgo, welcome back to your reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. We're going to take a look at... Oh, gosh. Oh, I feel like this is Twin Flame Week. It's turning into Twin Flame Week. Okay, so whatever. Let's see. Oh, let's see what the energy is. Okay. All right. Virgo, um... Hold on a second. I just got to see something. All right, before we get into this reading, Virgo, obviously there's a twin flame here who's heartbroken about, and if you listen to yesterday's reading, there was some sadness, a very passionate, physically intimate kind of a thing. Um, maybe a breakup or somebody is mourning right now. The, 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 the connection between you and this person. Um, but before we get into this, I just want to give a couple of shout outs. So please don't click off because this will just take a second. Tiana Gutsmore. Hey, oh yeah, a lot of you. Um, I just want to say thank you, Steve-O, yesterday for the, um, the gift memberships because you there, there was some random... Um, membership so everybody that rejoined um welcome and yeah thanks to um steve-o for gifting those memberships if you are a member of my channel you can gift memberships to you can gift one um it's like 2.99 or you can gift a bunch it's a random thing so um new um gift memberships or new people tiana gutsmore melly jason persephone oris dc limitless tawny lake chandler cook welcome and okay let's get into this so because i did promise you guys yesterday so what's going on here you've got a twin flame here who is like heartbroken mourning a loss feeling like it's a separation deeply hurt like crying i was crying when i met you now i'm trying to forget you okay that song just legit came to my head <laughs> that kind of love dun, 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 dun. okay no copyright strikes let's see what's going on here oh my gosh the eight of cups somebody here oh look at this this is like so melancholy somebody here is just They're dreaming, and I'm dreaming of you tonight. Somebody here is dreaming. They're like going out, they're looking at the moon. Oh, I just heard something. There's some kind of message about you and another person sharing the same moon or looking at the same moon if you're far away from each other. It's like this person definitely looks up at the moon and thinks of you. Hmm. Or oh, it's you looking for aliens and spaceships. I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, somebody here, the Eight of Cups, it's like that's an energy of being temporarily separated. Okay, for some reason. Mm, Queen of Cups is here. This could be a water sign that's missing you, or that you're in separation from, heartbroken. What is your twin flame? Masculine or feminine? Sitting on a beach, thinking about you, collecting some seashells. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Here's the passion. The yes, Virgo. Similar to yesterday's reading. The Knight of Wands. And then, okay, now they just gave me that song. That's so Brian Adams. I want to run to you. Um, yeah, this person just, they want to come where you are. Or they want to come. They want to come where you are, Virgo. Wherever you are. And I see them doing that. Let's see. There's so much energy here. Here's the moon again. Dreaming about. <laughs> Dreaming. The moon. And here, look at all this moon energy here. I'm telling you, Virgo. Pisces, perhaps. There's passion and emotion. Again. Okay. This person... They have a their secret. Like there's a secret they're saying. 
secretly yearning for you. That was in yesterday's reading. This person is secretly desiring for this physical, like they have this very strong, lusty attraction to you. Of course they do. Oh, there's King of Swords. So some of you, this is definitely going to be a water sign. I'm sorry, air. What the hell am I saying? Definitely, oh, uh, yeah, they want to talk to you, Virgo. Oh, <laughs> now you have the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. We have air, fire, and water thus far. This person is talking to their friend. There's communication with a friend. And there's two, two people watching you, too keeping tabs on you oh yeah so this is a little similar to yesterday because somebody thinks that you're um i don't know like you're you're running away you're sneaking away and you got you got two people watching or one person is telling the other person to check on you it's weird one person is like hey go go can you see? maybe there's a blocked thing and there's another person Maybe you have somebody blocked or you don't. I don't know. There's, there, there's an energy of looking for you or, or like kind of sneaking around. Okay. So you have temperance. Sagittarius. Leo, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Ooh. Somebody... Oh, somebody, okay. Look at this. This is peace and conflict. Okay, they just gave me another message. So there's a, there's a, an air sign that's trying to stir up some trouble. And there's also a fire sign that is trying to keep the peace. I feel like there's a fire sign telling an air sign, no, 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 leave it alone. But this, this air sign is going crazy. It's going a little nutty. Trying to find out, like, what's going on? Is there a competition? And so I feel like it's two friends. Your twin flame is having a conversation with a friend. And it's like, yeah, I got to find out what's going on. Because I'm heartbroken. I'm really upset. I got to find out what's going on with Virgo. And the friend is saying, no, no, no. Just leave it be in divine timing. Things will come out. Just, yo, man, find some peace. <laughs> Stop. Don't get crazy is what I'm hearing. Now, I don't feel like the, the, your twin or your person is going to come in and start, like, fighting. But they, they want to know if they have competition or challenge. And I said that yesterday where I felt like the person or your person kind of felt like maybe... Um, you were breadcrumbing them or something else but um or that you weren't or that you had another interest because why wouldn't you virgo right that this person had you on a pedestal of some sort and they think that maybe you are uh you would have lots of offers okay so that's that message right there I know some of you, like, if you post in my chat that this doesn't resonate, and then you keep telling me, like, you keep posting in the chat, it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate, not my reading, just leave the chat, leave the reading, it's not for you. Not every reading, and please, mods, please let everybody know, not every reading is going to be for you, because I do these five days a week, so something's going to click at some point, but somebody feels completely left out in the cold and abandoned, they're suffering. This person, like, with a heartbreak... There's suffering happening here. Absolutely. Um, so I feel like someone is very somatic, you know. Um, does somebody love you? Like, there's feelings, yeah. But this feels like this whole twin flame thing this week. It feels like somebody's, the physical passion is really driving somebody nuts. Either because there's a lack of it, there's an absence of it with you. Or because, well, that's just it. That, that's what the energy, remember? And trying to get at the truth. This is still going on. Okay, what else? Three pentacles, yeah. 
Somebody is trying to learn the truth. What? I don't understand. So I, I, assuming that you're not in contact with someone here, you're not that you're in separation with this person. They're struggling. Look at this. This person is reading some kind of like book of some sort or something in regards to like, they're trying to learn how to like um, deal with their mental struggle about the fact that you and they are not together. Like if, you know, you know how like you feel like you're a twin flame with someone, but it's something, it's not happening. It's a divine timing kind of thing and it's not happening. It makes you nuts, right? This, that's what you guys tell me. And then, so this person is going through the same thing. I know some of you are like, well, they should have just come forward. Well, it wasn't meant to be at the time and still looks like there's a struggle here with this. And I think if you heard on Sunday or maybe Monday that this person has to go through their journey of healing as well, they're, they're, having, they're all over the place with it. They might, maybe they got locked up. Okay. Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo, I feel like this person wants to be like long term with you. This is something that they want for sure. It's not just about the physical intimacy and the passion. Yeah, that plays a big role and it should. That's a wonderful thing. It plays a huge role, but there's more to it than that. So there was an, a question that I asked yesterday about why you and this person were in separation and the message that came through was that there was a a lack of change um, or lack of leadership or taking charge and there was a lot that had to do with the fact that prior to all this there might have been another influence in the situation and some of you Virgos might have said you know it's not working out I'm gonna leave I'm done it's over I'm moving on and it, it feels like this is this is your twin flames struggle not, not so much yours but it feels like more so struggle and and i didn't see that you were really uh, some of you are just not some of you might be dating other people but i really didn't see that being profound because this is your twin flame and they're still on your mind they're still on your heart even if there's no intention to go back okay but i feel like this person they want some type of long term secure kind of thing with you definitely but uh, that's great and I did feel like there was going to be some type of communication that you would get from them but are there these profound changes oh yes the chariot listen Virgo thank God tomorrow's the weekend reading because I feel like we're going to end this week here with this reading um this is cancer energy uh there is going to be a change. That's what the chariot represents. Um, it's a seven, which represents inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, insight, and success. And this is about movement and taking action as far as which direction to want to go. Yeah, Virgo, listen. I feel like this person is just going to they like the the chariot is a, is a major arcana which means they're not going to have a choice they got to move forward or it's just forever over and over you know and yesterday was a very passionate reading an sexual reading and i feel like that is driving someone that's what that knight of wands is that physical drive okay but i don't feel like it's just about the sex you know this person they're burned out. I feel like they're burned out. They're like exhausted. They got, this is like their last chance I hear for them to actually do something. If they don't do this now, like it's the last chance, whatever they have left, it feels like energetically, physically, energetically to, to make something work here, they're going to do it. And, and you know, this chariot makes me feel like horsepower, you know, uh, come in the car, uh, travel, go in a vehicle of some sort, uh, or just, just take action energetically. Horsepower with like the speed of horses. 
um, like the speed of a vehicle, like really fast. I mean, it's not light speed. <laughs> Seeing Star Wars, what's the matter with you? But yeah, there is definitely movement here. And there's Ace Wands. So, you know, like we're just going to keep the theme here. I mean, this person is just going to keep, like, it's just. Get your hand off of that, Virgo. I'm taking care of this. This is right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look, Virgo, that is so your card. And look at you. You look amazing. Yeah, Virgo's like, yeah, you want this? Come and get it. You got to have to take action here. I'll be waiting at the door, but you got to make a move. And they know it. And you might even hear it. Wait for me. Don't go anywhere. Just wait for me. Again, with the moon. A lot of moon energy. Could be um, a Pisces or a Cancer. Yeah, so you and this person are definitely going to, like, this is a meant to be thing here. Two of Cups. This is soulmate, too. I mean, this is seeing eye to eye. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's transformation and change. And I feel like this twin flame, whatever journey they're on, whatever they're going through, there's going to be a major shift in this connection on their end. I want to see how this person feels about you. All right. They left before you could leave them. Now they are becoming a better person. I feel like part of this, if they were the one who left you, a lot of this has to do with them needing to make that change. Not everybody's a jerk. Not everybody's an idiot. Some people in relationships because they're not ready. They get there and then it's got to progress or change or whatever. And someone's like, no, I can't do this or I'm not ready. But I feel like whoever you were connected with here whether they left first which it looks like they did um it looks like this time apart is giving this person an opportunity to change and become better better um they hid themselves from you virgo they really did they i feel like they might have played a role or just scripted or just um kind of like I don't know like wore a mask perhaps they wish that they had treated you better but they're blaming themselves that they think that they were the ones that messed everything up and they're blaming themselves for this this person really does love you and just like yesterday they want to be more than friends in whatever way okay so if you guys are just platonic friends they want more than that um if you're F dub, if you're friends with benefits, they want more than that. You know, whatever it is, this is about change. They believe you guys will be together again, and they want to tell you how they feel. They wish things could be different. I feel like this person is going to try to make change here. I, I keep saying that over and over. So whatever you're seeing about this person in their life or imagining, it's not what it is. Okay, I feel like somebody might be putting up some kind of like a, a front as well, a mask, a front. But that's, you know, they people that can't, that's not sustainable. The mask always slips off eventually. People come, they show their true colors. It comes out. All right, what other messages? They're here for Virgo. Another message for Virgo. Fear and anxiety in the reverse is lifting. This is good. Some of you are reevaluating your career. Great. <laughs> it was like looking at their watch. Like, all right, well, I guess you're going to come when you come. So in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at my business prospects. <laughs> That's such a Virgo thing. Okay. You've got Cupid's arrows, love messages, and travel. So definitely for may and i know i keep saying this and here's the thing i don't give a shit if you want this person back or not i'm not here to tell you whether or not you should take someone back i don't care when you tell me or leave a comment well i don't want that person back well i'm not telling you to take them back i say this all the time i'm just showing you what's going on here what i'm picking up from this person's energy what you choose to do with that or whatever you're doing 
This is just in information. It's messages. I hate when people do that. Let me vent. No, seriously. If you don't need to tell me that you don't you don't want somebody back. You don't need to tell me that. You don't need to tell anybody that. You just go do your thing. If you don't want somebody back, fine. What I see is this person's missing you. There's a physical thing for sure, like a very strong, it's chemistry. And I feel like this person is feeling, it's like sugar. Sugar, ba, 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 ba. It's like sugar, you know, that's sweet, that sweet, sweet sugar that somebody here wants that taste of, of her <laughs> sweet, sweet sugar. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, why not? As a matter of fact, let's get a couple more of these and see tell tell Virgo about this sweet sweet sugar what's the deal with this I have to turn the okay what's the deal with this sweet sweet sugar here oh what will it take for you to sleep with me this person yeah okay I mean obviously this person thinks your body is so shakshi very strong physical attraction they believe you are my match and you know what Virgo we did see the two of wands and that was a match and there is that twin flame thing going on here I've never felt as attracted to anyone else as I am to you I know some of you are like that that's crazy like is that really for me yes Virgo and they love your mysterious ways Virgo so if you're that for if you're one of those Virgos who's very mysterious they want to explore every inch of your bod. <laughs> um, so, you guys, I'm going through these cards because some of them um, I cannot show you. Uh, I absolutely cannot show you. So, um, I will give you the ones that are PG. Okay, some of you, this is an X. Okay, that's showing up here. Um, oh, gosh, some of these are so bad. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Maybe I'm, maybe I should. Okay. This person does want to see that, an, a sexy picture of you, but they do feel like they need you. Nobody turns them on like you do. Okay. And they want you. All right. We're leaving that there. I'm not going any further with that because you know that we're going to have to get we're gonna have to get yeah i haven't been on my only fans in, in quite some time and i'm really sorry about that I, i've got like 10 different irons in the fire and i i shouldn't start things i should just start like a couple things and stick with those but i get super excited about new projects and stuff and i want to see how they do and then i that's not a virgo thing that's me i got the adhd thing going on that's not a lie i swear i do um so don't worry, I'll be back. I will be back. All right, I just want to get some messages of love. Oh, okay. So Virgo, your message here, self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting on anything. You also have protected, you are safe and divinely guided. And for some of you, this connection is passionate but not enduring. For some of you, this is just a strictly sexual thing. And that's fine if that's your thing and that's what you want and you're like oh i need that well there you go that's showing up okay um also you have a message warning don't dismiss any red flags so if you if you feel like this needs to be more than it is or that's something that you desire and you guys are in separation because of that i will give you a warning that for some of you this person just outright wants the sex and nothing and some of you might already be like yeah i already know that that's why it ended um them coming back in um not all of you but some of you if you're not down with that then you need to look and see the red any red flags right i do feel like this person is you know oh i just saw the friendship card there you go okay some of you want a, a friends with benefits to lead to more some of you um don't and just want it to be strictly sexual and if that's what you want there it is it's definitely showing but you can't deny that no matter what there is a strong chemistry despite what you want and what you desire both people want and desire that is a hundred percent there and i don't feel like yep there you go chemistry 
it's very very strong it's almost encapsulating in some way okay but I do feel like there's an awakening here and someone this person is secretly yearning for you and maybe you guys are both awakening to the fact that there is a longing here between you and there's still a desire to explore this so I do feel like there is an energy that this person wants long term but I can't say for sure if it's just a long term like they're not getting it's very blurry you know um for some of you this could be a long-term commitment however that's a very general statement some people commit long term to just a sexual partner and they stay exclusive with each other in that way and nothing more and other people commit to a long-term marriage or family you're having children it really like there's definitely a commitment to it to something here so if that's something you're seeking yeah somebody's willing to do that okay um but i think we need to define more like you need to ask yourself <laughs> what is it type of commitment you're looking for virgo i don't really know um you got to define that on your own that's that's what i feel like i can't be have it for some reason they're just saying don't let they're saying let them decide that's what i'm hearing let them decide you definitely are getting a commitment coming in <laughs> i'll tell you that much oh virgo draining sometimes it's just so draining um all right let's see what the chinese sign if anything we have any changes chinese sign wise here for virgo all right we do have a year of the horse you have a year of the tiger all right you the rooster just fell let's see if i can get it hold on there we go year of the rooster also the letter N, sorry, uh, was on the floor. So somebody's name, uh, nickname or name starts with the letter N. They just said to point that out. Okay, got Year of the Rat. <clears throat> and you have a Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Monkey. Year of the goat and the year of the pig. I can't remember if they showed up yesterday, uh, which ones, but yeah, there they are. Okay, Virgo. Let's get into. All right, somebody you're dealing with a Taurus. Just gonna say that. Someone's born in 1980, someone is 51. Someone's sep September 16th, September 20th, September 12th, August 26th, birthday. Someone is 33. Someone's born in 69. Um, someone's born in 86. Did I say September 12th? I can't remember. There it is. Someone plays the saxophone and someone wants the sax. Oh yeah, let's have sax. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you, I didn't make that up. I'm not crazy. Just say sex, sax. Oh, excuse me, okay. Uh, someone's birthday is in January. Yeah, definitely saxophone. Um, okay. Some of you, again, there's an X. It's an X playing out. Okay. Someone, okay, they're giving me HH, just HH. I don't know what that means, HH. It could be somebody's initials, first and last name, the name of a town. Um, oh, okay. And axes or ax. Doing something with an axe. Um, and then exoskeleton. Sure. Okay, why not? Exoskeleton. What is that? What does that even mean? What has an exoskeleton? Like a turtle? No, they have a shell. Oh, a crab? Oh, yeah. Could be a cancer. 
There could be a connection with a cancer. Exoskeleton. Okay. Or, or uh, what else has an exoskeleton? I can't think. Somebody or something does. It's a connection. Is, do spiders? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on from this craziness. Um, so, and there's the SCX. Sexo. Oh, somebody might be um, Latin. Someone's from Latin America. If someone speaks Latin, has a Latin. Is that Latin or Spanish? Okay. Oh, um, someone's a gym teacher. I just heard that. XO with the XO. All right, let's take a look here. Um, Adam, they just gave me Adam. And someone's born in the year of the ox. Uh, Jose or like a, oh, uh, someone's birthday is on December 25th. Okay. And they just gave me the name sugar. Uh, they just said sugar. Like sugar or sugar? Sugar. Someone works for the NHS. Or there's a connection to the NHS. And, uh... Oh, someone has a high school reunion coming up soon. And, um... E All right, they're telling me ESPN, not ESP, ESPN. <laughs> so I guess it's sports channel. Okay. All right, you've got a parrot. So somebody has a parrot. There's a connection to a parrot here. Also a blue star. Now that's interesting. I've just immediately, they just gave me this message. It's um like a pool floaty, something here to do with a pool floaty. I don't know if they make a pool floaty in the shape of a star or there's a pool that has stars in it or I'm seeing stars that could be swimming at night as well. There's something with a pool or pool floaty or there's that aqua blue uh, pool energy. I'm picking up like a pool. And also there's a black diamond. Oh, is that a stock or crypto? Onyx. They're giving me onyx. An onyx diamond or an onyx jewel. You also have a wing here, so you might see a feather, single feather by itself somewhere. That should be a sign to you that this reading is for you. But I'm also picking up um, somebody's, so that I'm seeing a bird like ducks or geese, and the duck's head is turned around, tucked into its back in its feathers. So maybe you're seeing that or you will see that later. And I'm also picking up, um, some very big rolling waves okay so you could be in hawaii or somewhere where the surf the waves are incredibly high which i generally think of like hawaii or uh somewhere there's an island with a lot of waves there could be an element of a tsunami warning coming i don't know where uh, or there could be a false alarm about a tsunami okay so i just Hey, yeah, just throwing it out there. Yeah, be prepared. Don't be scared. Um, okay. I think that's it. We're going to leave that there. That was interesting. Okay. Tomorrow, we're going to do your weekend reading. And I'm going to try to take a look more at very mundane daily things. Not get in too much to the twin flame. Um, and I'm going to purposely do that. I'm going to give the twin flame thing a break because it's pretty much been all week. And I know you guys have enjoyed it. And um, But I want to look at like more like... Hey, how's your weekend going to go? What are you going to do? Are you working? Is there any money coming in? We're going to keep it very general. All right, you guys. So I will see you all back here tomorrow. Have a fantastic night. Thanks to the mods. Thank you for the gift memberships and becoming a member of the channel. Link for personal reading is in the description box below. All right, you guys. I will see you later. Love you. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, 
like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.